Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to do a little bit of a 4th of July nail tutorial. It's not anything fancy, this is what I came up with. Um, it's going to just be me kind of explaining to you how I came up with the idea and showing you what I did. So the first thing you're going to need is a plastic Ziploc bag and I'm going to cut it into pieces to do the smush effect on the ring fingers. And then um, my nails already have base coat applied, so I'm not going to show that. And then the polishes I'm going to be using are going to be Wet n Wild Red Red. This is one of my favorite red creams. It has a great formula and it's a gorgeous color. Also does not stain cuticles. The next one is going to be Simple Colors Endless Blue. I love this blue, you guys. Great two coat formula, gorgeous color. And then this is a new glitter I picked up. I showed you in a haul video. This is from Salon Perfect and it's called Bling Bursting in Air. It's really pretty. And then for a little extra bling, since it is Old Ladies Wearing Glitter Month, I went with China Glaze Ruby Pumps. I love this polish, you guys. This is one of my favorite polishes ever. And then I have just a Wet n Wild White Cream called Whipped Topping. So you have to kind of decide which nails are going to get which designs. So I'm going to do the ring fingers with the smush effect, and I'm just going to put down one coat of the white cream with no top coat and I'm going to do that first so it has time to dry before I come in with the other polishes and the bag for the smushing. And then I decided the middle fingers were going to have glitter. I'm also going to use a white base for that. And just the same thing, one thin coat. I think the glitter's thick enough that one coat is enough. That way I don't have too much polish and um, it just won't dry. Sometimes I do that and then I go to bed and I wake up with like sheet marks or like the whole nail has just, all the polish has slid off because it doesn't dry, it's just too much polish. So I'm going to apply those two first on both hands and then just give everything time to dry. I'm going to go in to the pinky with my first coat of Endless Blue. Look how smooth that is, you guys. This polish is just amazing. I love this blue. If you don't have it, I recommend picking it up. It's a gorgeous color. And the formula is just so, so smooth. I'm also going to do endless blue on my thumbnails. I hope um, I hoped this video was going to be a little bit more tutorials, but I just ran out of time, you guys. Towards the end, I'm also going to show you a couple of my 4th of July glitters just on a nail wheel. So I do apologize, um, but I did want to get something out to you guys since I had talked about it in a previous video. And also the quality of this video, I don't know. I must have been like drunk when I set up my camera or something. I don't drink, so that's just a joke. But uh, here I'm going in with my first coat of Ruby Pumps on the pointer finger. And this is another polish with a great formula, you guys. Look how smooth that just goes on. So of course everything I'm doing to one side, I'm doing to the other side just off camera. Here is the second coat of Endless Blue on the pinky. And then I'm going to go in for the second coat on my thumbnail. I try to be careful not to get a lot onto the cuticle. That way cleanup isn't so hard. Sometimes I succeed, sometimes I don't. Um, I'm sure you guys know the feeling of that. So the next thing I'm going to do is go in with my second coat of the um, Ruby Pumps on my pointer finger. This is a little bit of a stainer around the cuticle if you do get it there, so be cautious of that. I did get it on um, a little bit on both fingers, but I tried cleaning it up as best as I could. So the next thing I'm going to do is get ready to do the smush mani. I'm getting my little cut up pieces of plastic bag close by, and then I'm going to open up all the polishes that I'm going to be using. That way I can get the um, brushes ready and be ready to do the dips. So the biggest thing here is to not glob too much polish on. You just want, I mean you don't want hardly any, that's kind of the hard part is figuring out how much blob of polish you should put or how much, how big the blob should be. So I kind of went a little too heavy with the blue and you'll see what I mean after I show you the smush effect. And then I still put a little bit of white just so that it looks a little more, um, smooth so i go in with the bag and you cover the polish and then you just lightly tap and smush around the polish if you press too hard you're definitely gonna lift up that white base and you're gonna go and look straight to the nail so try not to do that 
but you can see there that there's too much blue and I made a mess of the cuticle area so the cleanup there is going to be a little messy. If you have the liquid latex you may want to use it for that. I don't use that but if you do like that that would be a good um, time to put it on is for that smush mani. So I'm going to start my cleanup now. I poured acetone into my little cup. I have my e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm just going to get as close to the cuticle as I can with it and try and make a straight line with the polish. And I can't really show you this on camera, it's kind of an awkward angle, but I wanted to show you a little bit how I'm gonna clean up there around the finger. I just really go in heavy with the acetone and then I blot the extra color off on a paper towel. And I just keep doing that until all around that finger and cuticle is as clean as I can get it. And then there is the finished effect there. So next thing I'm going to do is clean up the rest of my nails which I did and I'm going in with my first coat of the um, bling bursting in air this has really good glitter coverage for one coat you can see there that you don't have to do any like glitter placement you know you just dip in and you have a great glitter coverage on the nail but I'm gonna go for a second coat just because I want things to be extra blingy for my old ladies who wear glitter month um, 4th of July manicure so I'm going in for a second coat there look how pretty that is you guys super sparkly really fun and so that's next thing I'm going to do is go in with some top coat and I'm just going to top coat all the nails with a quick dry top coat I am using at this time um, Sally Hansen big quick dry I don't think that's available anymore I ended up getting that on clearance a while back and I like when you add the top coat to the smush um, Manny because it kind of helps the polish actually look a little more mixed together and I think it does give it a better effect after the top coats applied and then I'm going to apply a little bit of extra thick top coat to that glitter nail to avoid chipping and I'm just going to finish top coating the rest of the nails. I really do think that you get a lot of look with that smush technique and I don't think it's very hard to do and I also think you get a lot of look as far as the skittles go it just adds interest to the nails you're gonna paint all your nails anyway but if you paint them all different colors you know you do get a little bit of extra interest and then the smush technique is something I like to do because it's simple the cleanup's a little hard, but you know, the actual technique is simple and I think it's a really cute, fun nail look. I get a lot of compliments when I do it. So now I'm going to show you some of my other 4th of July glitter toppers. The first one is going to be Pure Ice Freedom. This is several years old. It's a red and blue um, metallic glitter and there's also some silver stars in there. The stars are hard to get out. Um, I did not get any when I swatched this on the nail wheel. I may next time um, put it upside down for maybe 15 minutes to see if some of those stars will come out. But it's a really pretty glitter. It's pretty old. I don't think it's available anymore. Um, I've used this for a few 4th of July manis in the past and I did really enjoy it. I just, like I say, fish those um, stars out either with a toothpick or a dotting tool or I'll put some polish like on a plate and then pick it off and stick it where I want it. So here's the second coat of that for you guys to see. And you get a nice glitter payoff with this. I would probably put it over a white polish to get the most effect from the colors of glitters that are in it. That way that um, red and blue really pop. Then the next one is also from Salon Perfect and this is called Spirit Fingers. And this has some matte red blue and white stars with um like a fairy dust glitter i did put this upside down for a few minutes before i applied i'm sorry i'm totally off camera here you guys um like i say i don't know what was my deal filming tonight but um this takes a lot of glitter manipulation and i do think that stamping it, or not stamping um sponging on is the best technique for glitter like this so that the base doesn't get super heavy on the nail and then when you put top coat you end up just with something that will not dry but look how pretty that is i think this is really pretty over like a darker blue so that those holographic glitters can stand out and also all of your stars i think that's really fun and i've used that several times as well and then this is the glitter I put on this Manny. This is Bling Bursting in Air. That This came out this year. You still be able to find it at your Walmart. 
also from Salon Perfect. And look at one coat of that, you guys. No manipulating, just a nice, smooth glitter application. I thought I had a few more 4th of July glitters. I may have given them away because um, these were the only three I could find. So here's a close-up pick of those on the nail wheel. I all think they're really fun. And then here's my finished Manny one more time. I hope you guys enjoyed just that little tutorial and kind of what I think of when I do a holiday type Manny. So I will see you all in the next video and thanks for watching. Bye.